Welcome to the Out There Channel live stream 406. Hoping to start this earlier. I had some technical issues I'm again. I'm loving. Let's see how we go today. I'm hiding. I'm searching. I'm loving. Anybody out there today? Probably not. I was meant to start, uh, let's see, four hours ago. <laughs> but now I've had dinner, I'll be good to go, hopefully. Hello, hello. Good to be back. Good to be back. It's been a bit, bit of a gap between, hasn't it? So today we're talking about um, volcano UFOs again. Uh, the frauds, the big frauds out there. Uh, pushing UFOs into in volcanoes, which is absolutely nonsense, but we'll go over it. Um, why well, I believe it's not so, and I'll try and explain it. Uh, why would you want to go inside a volcano anyway? <laughs> uh, it's a good way to get cooked. Yeah, this looks like the side chat's working this time. Uh, I think we're all working good. So let me just do some checks. Uh, really late today, though. One, two, three. One, two, three. How's the in time to the alien this time? Yeah, so I had to do a few more tweaks on the system here. Uh, I think it's working now. Uh, decided to run some of the software in administrator mode, which uh, allows me to give them a bit of a boost on the CPU levels. And we'll see how it goes. Main, mainly my control panel down here. Uh, let's see, let's do some tests on it before we get stuck in on the Mexican UFOs. <laughs> UFO jets, that's always a good one. Yeah, I don't think it's all working. Okay, I think it's a wee bit smoother than it used to be. Uh, how's the streaming going? So it's all good here. Uh, we might better get some people from the UK coming on, I guess. Uh, might be a bit too early still for them. And there might be some late night owl people in America. Okay, so what is, uh, I better get up and go up, layer, just, just check some things out here still, yep, on off, seems to be working all right now. Good, good, good. So what is the time signs at the moment? That's the wrong button, Boar. Uh, where's the time sign button? So I moved it. Uh, let's see it there. There it is there. Uh, what did I just press before then? 
I sort of thought I pressed. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. Uh, was it Up top? Try that again. Okay, so it's two AM, Texas, uh, Arizona. Just heading on to midnight there. So yeah, unless there's a few night owls around, uh, I don't think we'll see many on. <laughs> unless you're doing the night shifts, of course. Uh, UK definitely eight AM. They should be able to make it on. And certainly Australia and New Zealand. Anyway, we haven't got Germany there. Uh, Russia, I suppose Germany would be the same as UK, so it would be about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's over that side, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so, it looks like it's all good. So the first uh, thing we need to get out of the way is this um, CZ5B space debris that was coming down. And I never got time chance to um, come on that night and we'll watch it live come down. But uh, as I predicted, um, I said, wait, I'm telling you days in advance before any other UFO channel even mentioned it, right? And I said, wait and see, see what the big channels put out there on it, where they turn it into a UFO story, right? So re-entry was four days ago, it says, and um, atmosphere, let me just zoom down a bit, at uh, two in the morning, is it? UTC, UTC time. Uh, so you've got to convert that back into your normal time, I suppose. Um, Indian Ocean north of the uh, Maldives. Oh, what happened there? Uh, at latitude 22.2, longitude 50. Uh, I wonder if we can plot that on the map. Uh, some more interesting information there, dimensions. You really think it should have a map location here for us. Where well, you can click on it. So, let's see, can you type that straight into Google? Uh, what was it? Let's see. Just more interested to find out first. Um, yeah, a bit of copy, copy that cross to uh, the control panel up. Panel. This is what happens when you get technical faults. <laughs> uh, sort of throws you off balance a wee bit. Uh, whether it's going to work alright. So, um, live stream. I haven't even typed that up yet. 4 or 6, I think it was. <laughs> um, so we're talking about um, debris plus uh, Mexican, Mexico, volcano, UFOs. Okay. to Google to uh, GPS maybe 
GPS. Uh, I've got to check out the audio too. One, two, three. Sounds all right. Okay. Longitude, latitude. Oh, we want to know the coordinates, so coordinate converter. And oh, it's latitude, is it? Latitude. Yeah, it's got LAT. I'm thinking longitude, latitude. <laughs> okay. So you should be able to just type it in, shouldn't you? Yeah, what format though? That doesn't seem to work. WSGS84. Yeah, but how'd you type it in? It's not really helping us. Like. I think it's because we want to go back the other way. A useless web page. Should be able to type it in any format. We should recognize it and convert it to the other ones for you. Okay, latitude, 2250, wasn't it? Yeah, it's got longitude there. All right, latitude and longitude. That's very really confusing. Yeah, let's see what happens. Get the address. Latitude, longitude. Okay, where's that looking? How do we zoom on that stupid map then? Doesn't look like the ocean here. Yeah. Alright. Might be zooming in now. 22. No. Let's try Google Earth directly. I Google Maps on here. Twenty two fifty, does it work? Yeah, yeah I did think it'd be that clever. <laughs> yeah, it's not clever at all. Dim, dim, dim. Uh, 
how can we copy that? It's useless. It's not doing anything. Find or to okay, Google Maps. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Support Google. Oh, yeah, really helpful, Google. <laughs> Degrees, minutes. So that's what they like. And you can search for place coordinates. Best longitude lets you, you can use plus codes to share for address. So Still not really making sense, is it? So, um, you can see why people get confused. Longitude, longitude, the DMS decimals, that's what we want. Aha, uh -huh. maybe you've got something that's now copyable. Uh, they would be copied and pasted. Yeah, that's what we want. Convert. So it puts that into that format there. And it brings up a bit of map that seems to be working. Ah, right. Did it actually crash into the... Middle East then, did it? I thought it crashed into the... the sea. Uh, so that one's quite a handy little thing. Um, so we might just keep a copy of that one. It does say 22.2 there though. Does that change it? Let's have a look. 22.2, I guess, um, we'll top it in up here, let's see what it converts to, aha, uh -huh, see it's a different number there, uh, so where is it put us, still looks like it's on the land mass, so it did actually crash into the desert, um, Okay, I thought it was in the sea, but that's got a location here, so I guess, oh, I guess what I've gone done, <laughs> clever diggy, I'm going to close the program that we're using, finally found one that made sense, longitude to decimal, this one. Uh, that wasn't the one. Let's go with something different. Uh, we'll find it in a minute. We'll go back to history. So we want to type it in for rough location. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. So that's way away from that landmass. Crashed into there on according to our map. Uh, 
and went over that small island. Uh, I lost it now. Why do we keep losing the cursor? I'm assuming that there's um, where the cursor should be. It's kind of a strippy type of little islands. So where did it actually crash? Because <laughs> obviously those coordinates are wrong. way wrong uh, history Come on, what's going on? Okay. No, I lost the first one. Now it's back over land. What am I missing? What am I missing? Am I doing something wrong here? Indian Ocean, it said it falls into the ocean. Longitude and latitude have got to be wrong. Because that's not the ocean. Yeah, okay, let's try and type in. That's got to be wrong. It's a degrees. So let's type that in to Google Earth. So this is, uh, I've got to get this around their heads right, so. It's really annoying when things don't sort of work the way they should be working. I like to always confirm things, right? And, uh. It's meant to have crashed around about there somewhere, obviously. Not way over here, according to those other coordinates. Okay. Does that work? Let's see where that goes. There you go. It's in the desert. <laughs> So they're telling lies. Well, that site, that's meant to be tracking is telling lies. What, are they saying that some of the debris ended up there, or? It's definitely in the same location as the other map. Yeah, it should be way down here. It's way off. Uh, let's see if we can find some more information on that. The GPS... Uh, GPS coordinates... Of uh, debris. Uh, what's it called? Um, CZ5B. said 5b yeah 
Aha, uh -huh, see it's all different here now. Just uh, rest of uh, mother dies. I suppose that's how you say that. So the other website's got to be wrong. That's why you always got to do double checking. How that could be so wrong, I don't know. Orbit.image.now. Neither ass is kicked. <laughs> yeah, anyway, get rid of that one. Okay, so this is coming from N2YO, whatever that is. And what are these ones saying? That's got the wrong information too. ABC News. 22.50, we know this is wrong. Looks like it's going to be... Longitude, latitude. So it's uh, latitude first. That's why, that's what's confusing me. Because normally you say longitude, latitude. But on the other one, on Google, it's uh, latitude, longitude. Let's run the other way. And what was the other number? 72, that's uh, way different. Both numbers are way different. Let's see where that takes us. <laughs> yeah, to the wrong location. And that's in the sea at least. Alright, so now we're cooking. So where's the islands? Here they are. What's that say? There you go. North. I suppose it could have easily crashed into any of the islands there. It's pretty close, I guess. Uh, look, they're only little tiny little islands though. Uh, could be fishing out there, I suppose. Interesting. Now yeah, let's go to... That gives us a better view. So it crashed there, not too far away from the islands. I suppose they got lucky, huh? So now we finally got the right location. That's a fair distance uh, to be wrong. So who else is propagating the wrong location here? ABC News is wrong. Okay. 22. Some of them haven't got it listed. So that's why you got to always fact check mainstream media, guys. It just proves the point straight there. How wrong. Uh, they can be wrong about the crash location. Hey, the UFO crashed over there. It turns out to be 100 miles away. I wonder who gave them information, the wrong information. That's interesting. Not seeing many of them listed on the front here. Fifty 
In fact, I've not seen any of the longitude, latitude numbers. Life tracker. Here's another life tracker. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, yeah. Great one. Looks like it's a fake link. Yep, it is too. A fake leak. Okay, so now we found where it is anyway. We'll just move on. I'll post a link to that there, calculators, because that's quite handy. <coughs> um, GPS. Latitude, longitude, converter. I know I've got another one on the main page, I think. I wonder if it's the same one. Should have looked there first. I'll just edit if not anyway. I know I have got converter here somewhere. Daytime. GPS. That one there, it's not the same one though. That one might be better, I don't know. 22 and 50. Look at that, that one comes up. Should have looked at my one here. But it's uh, backwards, isn't it? Uh, I think I might just add on, on the other one. This one looks simpler. Um, let's see. Should have done it by now. It's better to be getting no fun now. Oh, here we go. Done. Now yeah, it's bookmarked now. <laughs> I've at least got two different things I can use there. Yeah. So, yeah, what did the third face put up? They put up two videos on it at least. And you can see. They made it into clickbait. Real time tracking fallen Chinese rockets. I think they changed the name there too. Uh, I don't think it was called that. Chinese rockets. Um, hmm. The orbit Chinese long march. What's that got to do with it? Uh, what was just captured over Colombia? And I think this was the second part. <laughs> A string of lights. Uh, so we knew the debris was coming down, but I believe this was to do with SpaceX. Um, as we know, they've got the satellites up there, causing a um, string of things. Let's have a look. Um, 
So talking about the same one. Amazing clickbaits. Salt Lake City. Um, uh, Lake River Salt Lake City is that the same one? Can't see any of that. It looks like it's not the same one, but I can't see any fleet. I'm oh, missing a little dot up here. Okay, um, whole collection of balloons is it? Caesar uh, kites. I know this uh, one we debunked ages ago. A uh, video to do with Chinese rocket. No, it's a plane. Now, uh, here we go. On these starlight satellites are mistaken for UFOs. Is that the one we're looking for? I can't see any. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's in the right direction. So, what do you say about the starlight satellites here? A fleet of UFOs had arrived, but its luminous train was a series of relatively low flying satellite launched by Elon Musk. There you go. So, I think that one's related to that. <laughs> Builds in length, but what's kind of cool is with the multiple angles, you can see in one of the shots there's a curvature in regards to its shape. Would love to see your video somewhere uh, on so planet Earth. The uh, Chinese march following the news, and even recently we were covering the Chinese march long rocket. It's predicted to make landfall or land in the water somewhere on planet Earth possibly today and we're asking the public to keep an eye out if you catch anything on video in regards to the re-entry of the time okay so we know it was down it's carried on on the angle there crashed about there wasn't it that's um bottom of india turkey Uh, I think that's the wrong location. Isn't it? What's that say there? Blew it out. Greece. No, it wasn't there. I uh, think we're too high up here, aren't we? Yeah, we're way up. So I don't know where they're getting. And he's rocket. From. We would. And let me tell you, uh, to the possible, so we could put it up. Share it to the world and uh, report like Third Phase Moon always does, bringing you the latest news as fast and. No, you weren't the latest. I was the latest. Not be a good idea for some reason. I was thinking it would probably be kind of cool. I hope you guys do the same. Like I said, have that camera ready, and uh, if you capture anything, might eat those guys. Uh, they're kind of making their own space station up there. Uh, it should be almost problems. like this. Buckle up shirt so we buckle up, yeah, buckle up your mouth. Uh, so yeah, they didn't really add anything to that, did they? Um, something crazy going on here. I'm 
might just um, might cut this episode up when I'm finished and separate this bit from the main bit they're going to do. But anyway, um, yeah, there's not really much happening there, is there? Just the same garbage news. I'll just do a quick check though. Eh? Um, there's probably plenty on secure team again. I suppose he's just put out one, has he? Only seven hours ago. Uh, do we just do a quick skim of all that? Okay, let's guess we can. Likes me as well as all of you, I know. Yeah, that looks like a really old logo. Rings a bell. Is just what is happening over Arizona. Now, what am I talking about? Well, it would seem that Arizona and all of the surrounding states are a hotbed, a haven for UFO activity. Strange things happening up in the sky. Illumination flares. Really strange. Heaven over Arizona. Guys, now this all started back with the Phoenix Lights in 1997, which you are seeing video of here. Now, for those... Yeah. Of you so it is. It's illumination flares being dropped. <laughs> you new to this topic, or maybe weren't around back in 1997, here's the skinny on the Phoenix Lights. By Boring. thousands of people, between 730p... There's a, there's a really good graphic showing you where the mountain range is here that you can't see. Um, but um, everybody thought there can't be flares because um, that was the first one dropped. That should have been the first one to go out. But you don't realise that there's actually a mountain range that's sort of going up here. And of course the lights pass behind. And of course uh, the light order goes out in a different order, right? Now that threw me off for a while. Um, I'm not sure if we can enhance that piece of rubbish she's got here as footage. But i um, be interested to see if we can see the mountain range there or not. I don't think we could. I think you had to get a daytime shot of this that same window that the film was taken from, which someone got, and then overlaid it at the daytime. I don't think it was even the UFO hunters that did that. Uh, but I'd never ever tried to run it through the filters, because uh, I saw the daytime snapped, and you could see where the mountain range was. Okay. That's a good thing to test it out with anyway. How's the audio sounding anyway? One, two, three. Any crackling? No. Sounds alright to me. Alright, so let's carry on. Uh, did I not uh, select it? Alright, uh, it's not in the clipboard, is it? <laughs> I saved it, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this thing looks different. Uh, so let's uh, enhance it, see what we can see, whether we can see the mountain range or not. Because this is sort of change, it changes it. You know, we're talking about crappy VHS tape here, aren't we? And straight away you can see there's something here. Uh, but it's not good enough, is it? Uh, 
Uh huh. Alright, so it looks to me like there's a mountain ridge here. Going up, you see. Of course, what happens is, um, these ones look like they're closer than these ones down here. So that will go out first. Then that one will go out. And then uh, maybe that one will go out. Then that one will go out. And those ones go out. You'll see what I mean. But uh, yeah. See, there's a black mess. Got to be the mountain behind. Well, it's as simple as that. Just run it through filters to see what's hidden in the dark. So what looks like it's hanging above the city uh, it isn't. So that's the Phoenix lights. They're debunked, right? And people that lived there should have known that. Uh, but there were people that saw it fly overhead. Uh, which were different witnesses, and they call that part B of the Satan, or part A, depending on which one you want to call it. And that's where it's more interesting. So this footage here is nothing, this is a decoy, is what we call it. Like the, the government cover-up. ...PM and 10.30 PM, in a space of about 300 miles, from the Nevada line through Phoenix to the edge of Tucson, now, there were two distinct events involved in that incident. A triangular formation of lights that was seen passing over the state and a series of stationary lights seen in the Phoenix area. Now, allegedly, the United States Air Force identified the second group of lights as flares dropped by an A-10 Warthog aircraft. They were doing training exercises in the area. However, the governor Was later admitted up? that he attempted to contact and request information from the commander of the local Luke Air Force Base, the general of the National Guard, and the head of the Department of Public Safety, but none of the officials he contacted had an answer for what had happened. Whereas, when this first... As a pilot and a former... So, uh, why is he recycling the same old crap that we've heard time and time again? He hasn't really added anything new like I just did. Just a simple filter. Air Force officer, I can definitely say that this craft did not resemble any man-made object I'd ever seen. Versions, but they all said that from what they could see, this was a huge ship that blocked out the stars as it hovered. It looked to yeah, be almost no one's got identical video of formations it. of lights over Phoenix, but before we get to those... But here we go again for sure. So the first ex... Lights dotting the dark sky, but his buddies didn't believe him. He laughed about it and was like, maybe you need to go to sleep. I was like, bro, trust me. I said, I caught video bit. This family saw them too, right about 930 from their home and no way in the world. Satellite being launched. That's what they're saying. If not identical formation of lights was captured yet again above Phoenix. And here's a clip from that video. Hey, what was the date on this? new video because there's been a few of these videos claimed turns out to be various other things All right, so here we have a scary similar set of lights to what was captured above I'm Phoenix, nice Arizona over 20 years ago. They're sitting in the sky. They're not moving. They're in the same sort of curved or V shape as we saw in the grainy images of the 1997 footage. And the dudes who I think he's talking about these little white dots. were perplexed. You know, I think we as humans, we have a sixth sense about things we see in the sky where you just know it's nothing natural. Where can they not very bright? 
But again, it's probably Illumination Fee has been dropped. I don't know what the year date that was. Chinese Lanterns? No. Uh, more like to be Lead Balloons or something like that, right? I don't think it's Skydivers. 20 years ago. They're sitting in the sky. They're not moving. They're in the same sort of curved or V shape as we saw in the grainy images of the 1997 well, like footage. Blinking. And the dudes who recorded this were perplexed. You know, I think we as humans, we have a sixth, some different filters of that footage. So again, guys, the question stands, what is happening in our skies? It's a question I don't think. Again, static in the sky, but would at times move, you would see a light change formation with onlookers standing by totally stunned. And here are some different filters of that footage. So again, guys, the question stands, what is happening in our skies? It's a question I don't think will ever be answered. It's certainly not answered, in my opinion, just because the Pentagon released a couple... Well, one little like plane there, and the other ones I don't know. Illumination flares. ...years old, before commercially sold drones were available and things like that. I mean, they were, they were much more rare. There were no drone operators in the vicinity of this. But another formation of lights in what some believe to be a craft that was cloaked or caught above Lake Michigan. Okay, above a lake. So it could be illumination fleas again. Sitting again static in the sky, but would at times move. See, and this is the problem with these channels. So just don't use any of the tools to prove that there were no planes in the sky that day. Uh, map location, no GPS. <laughs> Uh, they should be putting up all that corner kind of information. Uh, it could be just a string of wedding balloons, LED ones. They were probably available back then. You know, um, Chinese lanterns. Well, they're, they're normally orange, red. These kind of look like illumination flares or LED wedding balloons, right? Uh, I don't see any craft moving. Like, uh, they're talking about a big craft just moving through the sky, right? You'd expect all those lights to be moving in the same direction. So, yeah, crappy video. Uh, what's the next one? This video, I want you guys to check out some of these fan-sent photos. Uh, yeah, so it's a Cairo one we um, re-looked at, so uh, if you've not watched the live stream I did earlier, uh, this a couple of months back uh, now, a recap. Um, it's well worth having a watch. Uh, let's see. Bub Lazar. Uh, we bought your logo. We bought your logo, mate. How's your How's the money coming? Another ten grand in your pocket. Uh, suckers. <laughs> okay, we've debunked this one many, many, many times. The NASA footage where there was a little blip on the screen. And you can see there's a big light source here. Yeah, it looks like lens flare happening here already. Vector screen, a UFO appears and then begins to jet off, and NASA quickly. Uh, so that looks like a big light source here. Whether the camera's moving, panning, I don't know. Let's cuts to a different shot and then cuts back to another. So that could be just be that could be just the camera moving angles. Different shot, as I think they noticed what they were broadcasting to the entire. world. They knew exactly what they were watching, and they weren't trying to cover it up, that was for sure. World. Okay, the next two clips I'm going to show you are of two UFOs that display... UFOs? Not two objects. Why not call them UAPs properly? 
because uh, UFO always has the alien tag. A, a very similar characteristic as, so, as while well, many of these UFOs do, sometimes you'll see these craft darting around, moving, blasting up off into space at a high rate of speed. Other times... Now we're not looking at a solar tube balloon again or a space truck tall, are we? So we've shown this in many clips here on the channel. These UFOs will be caught just sitting static in the sky, not moving at all. And in this first clip, we have another, what looks to be a black triangle, as we spoke about in our last oh, video. No. Check that out, where we show many videos of these mysterious oh, the black tubes. triangles. And as you'll see here, this thing just sits in the sky. Uh, I'm not seeing any balloon here. We're looking at the side of a house. Oh, I just brought the camera up the school, eh? Oh, do. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong direction. Alright, I got it now. Here we go, here we go. Is it a bird? Is it a kite? Is it a solar tube balloon? Yeah, it kind of looks like a kite. Come on, that's got to be a kite. Someone's got a string going to it this direction here. And we're seeing a side profile of it. There's a kite. I bet, can, I bet there's even a tail to it there that we can't quite see. As we know, that not all kites have tails. <laughs> As well, makes it a bit harder. Oh, that's got to be a kite. Now he's on top of a roof. He could easily perch his arm on a roof and keep that camera really steady. Well, I'd say that was a kite, 100%. Seems to have that slight wobble to it, right? But uh, he'll put up the full clip there with the stupid music. I don't know if there's a slight tail coming off here. Let's um, run it through some filters, I guess. Let's have a quick look. Uh, I'll get onto the Mexican UFO stuff in a minute. Like I said, I'll cut this bit off. Since we changed directions, it was only meant to be a quick news clip, but it ended up being longer, so I might as well just carry on. Keep this one a wee bit more cruisy than the other one. Hopefully, more professional. <laughs> uh, although I haven't got all the, I've been debunking it live as like I usually do. Of course, um, I have to see how the copyright claims come for it. But I'll be doing it under fair use, obviously. I've modified it, so it's even got fair use uh, stamped over top of it. Uh, because it's a commercial documentary, the next bit I'm going to be going over. Uh, did I save it alright? Uh, so... Has to be a kite, this one. Is that a tail fin I'm seeing there? Might be a little skinny thing. Um, You can see that it's not all the same blackness. Uh, the end bit's uh, less, uh, more reflective, and a bit in here is more reflective. 
which can suggest its material or maybe two different colors uh, flip hue Uh, something down here. Uh, pixels. I think it's got to be uh, like one of those um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> <coughs> I think someone's brought a, a niggle throat niggle thing into the house it's gonna be one, like one of those kites that's got the wing over side of it exactly what we looked at last time you know in UK there yeah. sucking down the CPU just scroll that back a bit. Uh, quite uh, wings. So it could be uh, none of those because that's the bird kite. <laughs> I don't think it's exactly a triangle like that. If we're seeing one side of it. Here's one that's getting less of a triangle shape. But I want to see it from the side view, and often we're not going to get that, are we? And could it be a diamond? Could it be a diamond kite, and you're seeing like the the middle bit bent inwards so you might be seeing it like um we've got a diamond here yep so we might be seeing it like that but it's got rounded and sort of sharp corners and it's split down that way and we're just seeing that side of it from that side. Yeah, it might be, you know, cur more curved. Curved in um, like that, you know, more curved in. Hopeless, Paul, hopeless. <laughs> Uh, you can never draw with a mouse <laughs> very well so yeah we'd see that as a side view like a triangle shape like that there all right we're seeing that side of it here that side of it all right 
that's what I think. But anyway, um, just carry on. You got anything else? So this next clip takes place at night, and I've done my best to give you some close-ups here, but we all know how cell phone cameras are. Yeah, really crappy, mate. You see, he doesn't know how to do filtering. Oh yeah, floating in the sky, so you're about four miles away. Or they possibly may be in a helicopter, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, they're flying over, they're pointing the camera down to the ground, we can see uh, the cities down in Mexico, when they suddenly spot an object and they turn on their, their FLIR camera, their infrared, so this object looks like it's glowing, but it may not be, and they follow this thing for a while, now this original clip is very long, but I've cut down to the pieces where I think it's most interesting. They follow this thing, they finally get a lock on it. At one point, you will see it either turn into two separate objects as it's going into the clouds, and then it looks like we see several objects. And then later in the video, it appears as if the camera starts to malfunction. A lot of these mm -hmm. UFO clips when people are filming these things, their cameras, their phones, what have you, will suddenly shut down. No, they, they will shut off. No power whatsoever. Or they will start getting this interference, as you'll see in this video. So check this out. You know, we, we don't get a lot of stuff from other countries. There's a wealth of UFO footage out there that I'm going to be exposing here on the channel. Not just what the Pentagon feeds us. So Pretty tell sure. me what you think. Mick West or Scott Brando debunked this one. So it goes on a bit like he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To me, it looks like it's flickering. I reckon there'd be Chinese lanterns seen from above, right? I know um, a lot of explanation for these is um, oil fields letting off a burden of gas, right? Oil platforms. Yeah, I'm not too impressed. Got a feeling that was uh, McQuest did this one. Did he say what location it was? Nah, don't be silly, Paul. We won't have any information like that. It'd be all bye bye bye. Or watch my other videos so I can make some more money. Um, normally they have like oil platforms and they have the very top where they burn off uh, natural gas because it builds up uh, where they drill and that stops it exploding of course. <laughs> Uh, so I don't maybe see in the full video before, but he certainly found it, and uh, he's added the, all of it together to make it a really long video. Uh, let's see, infrared is it? Infrared. Did he say what location it was? 
possible oil wells. Well, platforms, I suppose, because they're at the sea, out to sea, probably. Um, UFO, is it Peru or somewhere like that? I think he's covered it before too, hasn't he? Uh, there was another one that was also meant to be uh, all wells burning off. I'm not sure if it's the same video. Same video. ABC. I think it's the same video. Meta bunk put it somewhere up, didn't they? Meta bunk. Uh, UFOs. Oh wells. Let's see what comes up. that one and got deleted now what was the location objects as it's going into the clouds and then it looks like we see seven Followed this thing for a while. Now this original clip is very long, but I've cut down to the pieces where I think it's most interesting. But it may not, or I'm not sure. These strange objects, some that look like discs, others that look like oval-shaped objects. But another leaked piece of footage that many of you may have not seen comes from the Mexican Air Force, where a couple of jet pilots, or they possibly may be in a helicopter. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not too impressed. I'm not sure, but nonetheless, they're flying over. They're pointing the camera down to the ground. You can see uh, the cities down in Mexico. When they suddenly spot an object and they turn on their, their FLIR camera, they're infrared. So this object looks like it's glowing, but it may not be. And they followed this thing for a while. Now, this original clip is very long, but I've cut down to the pieces where I think it's most interesting. They so follow this thing, they finally get a lock Lens on flare, right? Probably. Uh, you can see how illuminated the clouds are. At one point, you will see it either turn into two separate objects as it's going into the clouds, and then it looks like we see several objects. And then later in the video, it appears as if the camera starts to malfunction. A lot of these UFO clips, when people are filming these things, their cameras, their phones, 
what have you, will suddenly shut down. No, they, they will shut off. No power what's, whatsoever. Or they will start getting this interference, as you'll see in this video. So check this out. You know, we, we don't get a lot of stuff from other countries. There's a wealth of UFO footage out there. That what was the country, though? I don't mean I'm saying. Pentagon releasing the footage that many of you may have not bought an object, and they turn on, or I'm not sure, but nonetheless, some that look like discs, others that look the footage that many of you may have not seen comes from the Mexican Air Force, where a couple of Mexican jet okay. pilots that was Mexican. Uh, I think I did see that before. Oil platforms, Mexican, because um, isn't it off the Gulf Coast? Uh, Gulf, yeah, that's where the Heading off towards uh, Florida, isn't it? I think they got some both side sides here. Mexico. Here we go. Mexican Air Force UFO or rigs. Here we go. 2019. So he's recycling some old stuff. Is that the same footage? Uh, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, it looks very similar. Yeah, this is the skinny bit I was talking about. So, what have we got here? Uh, area shown. So, what's those little black bits? Uh, little islands. So, what they say in there? Looks like quite a few oil rigs and other infrastructure out there on the same. Okay. So yeah, Tyler, you've been debunked a long time ago. So why aren't you putting this information up to go with your video? You should be. Just saying, well, this is what uh, the debunkers claim. Uh, there's no reason why um, someone like him couldn't be honest about it all. I'm pretty sure it's the same video. Um, Mexico. All oh, rigs. Yeah, even when I saw it and could see that it could be top of flames, right? you got oil rigs that burn off stuff. Why does it look like it's moving though? Um, well, they're flying around in circles. <laughs> um, uh, flames, oil rigs, Mexico. Let's see what we got. Mexico. Oh. Gas flames, here we go. And that's a photograph. Okay, that'll be interesting. <clears throat> oh, there you go, they create a lot of smoke. So that's what NASA can see. Huh? Uh, so that's normally what happens. I always have a flame burning. And it's caught fire there by the looks of it. Uh, 
Wait time. Yeah, so this is the Aura Rex at night time from satellite. Whereabouts is that? Gulf of something rather. They're quite big and they have lots of lights on. <clears throat> anyway, um, just quickly skim the video idea, just confirm it's the same one. A la siete, a la misma. Okay, these are two dots. So obviously there's a whole chunk of it cut off that uh, Tide has just put up. It's, or they possibly may be in a helicopter and camera the footage that... It was here somewhere, wasn't it? I was just trying to find the same, same spot, but uh, here it was. There's the two lights, and you can see it looks like it's reflecting off water. See that in there? Or part of the stuff that's um, the pipe. I think it's the same as this one here. Uh, we're not zoomed in as much. Let's zoomed right in. That one's not. Okay, we can zoom in. Uh, not as good. Maybe it's not sickly at that location, but close. There we go. Oh, there we go. So we can see the reflections there. Identical to his one. Uh, he's just made it slightly darker. Uh, why does it look like it's moving though if it's on the water? Well, you probably can read the metabuck on it. <laughs> and obviously, it's uh, parallax. So that's the garbage. Yeah, come on. Again. Well, he's making lots of good money from it, so let's see. Uh, 158 view, thousand views, and that could keep on growing up to 200. Three ads, yeah, he's probably making you know a couple, couple hundred bucks from each video. It's not too bad. He was making about a thousand at one stage, and then you got to remember he's got all those um, patron people, which he doesn't tell you how much Move, he's earning. You would see a light change formation. Uh, we should look at the next one, I guess. Then we've got to move on to other stuff. Uh, where's his Patreon link? Let's have a look. Has the numbers gone up? 
more than likely. He's back. We've got to fund him. Uh, a bit lower than he used to have, wasn't it? Uh, what he used to have, about 2,000, wasn't it? You have to look at my older videos. But still, if, if it's only $1 a person, that's uh, going to be $550 in his pocket there a month. Uh, more likely, they're paying $5. The bulk of them paying $5. Let's say half of them, which has been generous. Uh, 200 maybe 200 paying five dollars that's a thousand and um, plus another 500 1500 to two thousand dollars there coming in each month uh, so why would you need to work okay. that's US money too I think you get that on uh, an employment over there in America which is very generous <laughs> to say the least but anyway a lot of these people never worked an ounce in their li life. Paid taxes, right? And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, close that down again. So, what was this last one? Object Antarctica. I haven't we debunked that one with third phase? is literally cluttered with strange anomalous phenomena entrance so that's the entrance guys uh, of a lava tube and what looks like metallic lid here is actually just uh, the way the f sort of um, like the around of the editor right Made it more non rocky like. References to caves in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so we know there's a lot of volcanic activity down there. 71 or two volcanoes that are active. A lot of it's under the snow, even. Uh, so there's going to be lava tubes where lava pours out, right? that are shaped like triangles or disc shaped craft to unexplained vibrations and magnetic anomalies underneath the ice that seem to manipulate and warp gravity when satellites fly by this continent and so first so Just more garbage. Relaying that to outside. Now what's happened? Crater you would see on the moon with what appears to be a triangular object that looks as if it is or was constructed by something. So here we are, you can probably already see it. We see this sort of mound or crater and then plain as day. We see this triangular, this very sharp triangular object sitting dead center. Yeah, it looks to me like a crater of a rock in it. Uh, it's optical illusion, right? Uh, maybe I should do the Mexican one tomorrow. Uh, have I haven't got the energy to do it tonight. Because I had so much problem earlier. Uh, maybe best to do it fresh tomorrow afternoon. And just rename this one. Uh, catch up. <laughs> like I usually do. Uh, yeah, so to me this looks like a... I had it all planned today to do the mixing volcano one <laughs> but uh, at least you'll know it's coming up tomorrow and give you time to prepare if you want to come and sit in on, on it as we go through it 
because it may be taken down by a copyright claim because it's going to be from Jamie Masson. <laughs> and there's quite a bit in the documentary, it's an uh, hour long documentary, so I'll just be breaking it down. Uh, so yeah, it should be quite good, but uh, I'm not too sure I can do it tonight because uh, my energy levels have suddenly gone way downhill in the last uh, 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, I, I like to be peak mind when I do life debunks. Of the object, almost like the object landed and blew up. Uh, blew up, my eyes blew up. Okay, still looks like a chunk of ice or a rock in the middle there. Out this crater, and you can see the shadow. The shadow. Is it though, uh, or are we looking at missing data? I think it may be some missing data there because. Uh, why aren't we seeing shadows elsewhere? Shadow of the object. Looks to me like missing data. Let's see. Uh, we'll have to find the location he's looking at there. Work out how big it is. So the shadows I don't seem right for the rest of the picture there. Uh, notice they're going the other way. Uh, I if, has he got a shot where it pans out maybe? Being cast back down onto the frozen ground. And as I circle around and get different angles of this thing, it reminds me of many other triangular... Okay, that's this uh, low-res uh, compression artifacts there, right? Um, and that's what he used on that um, fake interview he did. Not Dr. Norton, but the other guy. Area 51 dude, we call him, because he doesn't, doesn't say his name. And, uh, yeah, you can see here, it's just like overexposed bright rock on the edge here. And it looks like some missing data here. Kind of looks really blocky. See that? See how it's sort of super dark? Looks like a square block, almost. But if you compare it to this one over here, it's very really similar, but yeah, this funny line here looks like something to do with data corruption. Missing data. I bet uh, there'll be other areas where this one is where it's similar on the map. Uh, but these guys crop it in a way to try and sell story, right? Or TR-3B shaped objects. So yeah, I'll, I'll do the Mexican volcanoes tomorrow fresh, because uh, we had a few niggles today. And uh, we'll just carry on with the rest of this catch-up stuff. Not only on Earth and in our skies, but out in our solar system. These strangely triangular shaped objects have been found on many other planets and... Okay, so again... Is it just a bright piece of rock in the middle? Or is it missing data? You can see over here at the very top of the picture here it looks like a triangle shape as well. Uh, even that crater there has a kind of like a triangle shape to it, you know, in the middle. See, there's a few triangle shapes happening there, but it's actually just the edge of the crater, right? So, yeah, is that just a bright piece of rock in the middle like you normally get? Let's 
See, it's a bit hard to know. Um, often they have like missing chunks of data, and uh, it can either be white or black, <laughs> which makes it even more complicated. And that's where you gotta look on the rest of the picture to see how they cal calibrated the other whites. And we've got some other whites out here. Almost looks like the same brightness. You can see how out of focus it is. But trying to say that's like a, a UFO or a triangle craft is just crazy. And moons, which we're going to get to in a minute. We've got some videos and photos. So as you can see here, I'm kind of scrolling. Photos or photos. Around the surrounding landscape. There's nothing else around here that looks like this. It's either barren land, flat. Uh, we have some mountains, but nothing that looks like this. Just sitting in the middle of nowhere. It looks like your typical V-shaped UFO that we have seen so a V-shaped UFO. Yeah, so he's gone back to the original picture again. I think it's just a chunk of rock that's brighter. That's all. It's same sort of brightness to the rim here. Um, did he pan out enough? before there to see any other shadows whereabouts was it looking triangular shaped objects have been found on many other planets and moons which we're going to get to in a minute we've got some videos and photos so as you can see here i'm kind of yeah, so uh, you can see it's like super bright there Which I suspect will be missing data. And it doesn't look like a triangle shape there at the moment. But um, there are some rocks that do give off a lot of reflective surface. Um, I remember they're talking about on Twitter some of the astronauts, well, some of the scientists that study these things said. Uh, it's because the way the calibrate, uh, how they try and calibrate the colours after they receive it, and some of them, some of the rocks are very bright, and they cause these uh, uh, white specks, which then zoom into bigger blobs. Kind of scrolling around the surrounding landscape. Yeah, this is mouse, isn't it? That one. <laughs> There's nothing Hang else on, around it's his mouse, is it? here Hang that on. looks like this. It's either barren land. Uh, it's his mouse. <laughs> well, there you go. Doesn't look like a mouse head, does it? Uh, it's like a little head now. Okay. And flat. Uh, we have some mouse. So this is why I do my mouse cursor the way I do. I have it blinking, right? <laughs> you can't mistake it uh, for a cursor. Uh, it's very really visible. I use a super large pointer. But nothing. But we're just trying to find where this crater is. Is this one? That looks like this, just sitting. Uh, so you confused us a bit there with the cursor. There's nothing else around here that looks like this. It's either barren land. Okay, so there are similar brightness to that crater here which she's going to zoom in flat uh we have some mountain so what's this thing up here it looks very really similar mountains, but nothing that looks like this just see how he sort of cut it there he didn't zoom in slowly to, so we could actually see the other crater that was up here uh he's just trying to make it more unusual than it is so here here you go uh, these are uh, some of these really bright rocks you get um around the moon craters yeah, what's he trying or to say craft or whatever you want to call them found on around places the such as the moon and mars so i was instantly reminded of this which i posted after discovering about four years ago on the channel another triangular like object very similar in shape to what we're seeing in Antarctica here and you're seeing that so this is the moon here and this image was captured by one of the many reconnaissance orbiter satellites okay so again I think we're going to look at missing data here is it 
travel shape. Uh, okay, I can see several triangle shapes. That looks like a triangle shape there. And a triangle shape there. But I think it might be a combination of low res and uh, the, the optical illusion between light and dark. See, it's not really a triangle when you zoom in on it. You start to see the other edge of the mound, right? I bet if we cut that out and zoomed in, you can see it's not a triangle shape at all. Oh. I don't use that anymore. Might get rid of that again. That plugin. Okay. So, who wants to see a triangle? Uh, resize. Yeah, let's uh, put some filters on it. And uh, you can see there's quite a lot of changes in the spectrum of black and white. And straight away, you can see it's looking less than like a triangle. And you can see that it's actually very different depths of um, darkness. You can see there's a couple of grooves popping out here. So, like I said, even just doing black and white, you can see it's not a triangle. It just wants you to believe it's a triangle craft just hanging around. And there's the circle, red circle edge that you drew around it. But that uh, triangle now doesn't look like a triangle, right? Looks like a edge of a jagged chunk of rock here and, and it's casting a shadow into the bottom of this uh, obviously some sort of crater well a hole in the crater a crater of a crater because uh, uh, craters are created by one impact and then you get another impact and bingo It's definitely no triangles there, right? And again, that's why you put it through filtering. And maybe just save that for a thumbnail. Uh, this is why I just can't make out why people watch that guy. Um, you can see here it definitely is no, no part of the triangle. Debunk, debunked. Of course, if you get the better high res or the best quality image of NASA directly, uh, it'd be even more obvious too.
currently making their way around the planet, mapping it, hence the name Reconnaissance. We are doing Reconnaissance on the moon. And you'll see in this crater uh, is another findings of partially buried triangular objects, such as, and looks metallic, it's got... Uh, you can see this has been messed around with, right? A little pixelization on that. In fact, I would say that almost looks like a Photoshop. In fact, I think someone found the crater that is meant to be in, and it definitely was a Photoshop, right? Of a craft this way, that way, you know, the wing Got going light out. glinting off of it. Here's a close-up shot of the object. A little pixelated, but nonetheless, you can see the perfect triangle. We also have findings of partially buried triangular objects. Such as these found on the planet Mars. He probably here photoshopped the first it, here. actually. Uh, very detailed and very sharp-edged triangular V-shaped object that looks to be partially buried in the Martian surface. In fact, I uh, might better find some information on that. Photoshopped um, triangle. Ah, I haven't typed it right. Nope. Zoom back out. Still haven't typed it right. Ah, Let's see. Don't think it was that one, was it? Nope. There's that pixelated one. I never have come across it before, the before and after, after Photoshop. <laughs> um, triangle Moon, UFO, maybe. We certainly found a lot more, more triangles than he has. <laughs> yeah, probably not going to find it. Um. So on that one there, triangle craft. I can't find it. Um, you're the fetish shop. I'm just thinking, but I, I just can't remember. What's this? Trying to focus my memory elsewhere. 
but without falling asleep, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure where I have seen it. Uh, I think Scott Brando may have done it once. Yeah, what's that one? Debunk, debunked. Similar images. <laughs> Triangle. I see triangles everywhere. Yeah. Suppose we could type in uh, crater, maybe. Crater. I always come back to this one here. Was that the one? I think it's almost time to wrap up anyway. Yeah, it looks like I can't find it. Yeah, my sinuses are playing up. Okay. Yeah, it's not looking good, is it? Scott has put up that one at all. A lot of stuff you can't find anymore because um, it's getting older and older and it keeps recycling the same stuff. Try um, see what Scott's got anyway. Triangle no uh, UFO just see what it comes up with that's how you spell his name
probably go back a fair distance, I'd say. And there's going to be a lot of triangles. And that one looks like a, a row of LEDs on a collect, is it? Um, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Kind of looks like a collect. Oh, there you go. He says lead collect at the end there. No, uh, I think I'd be lucky to come across that one. Uh, Give fun. Anyway, that's well worth having a look. Well, it looks like one of those remote control planes I see. Uh, when just type that in, see what comes up. Remote control wing. If it's in these pictures, I'm not seeing it. That's possible in that one. Yeah, you got the flying wings, right? Remote control, flying wing. It's the sort of thing someone to take a picture of and use it on a Photoshop on the moon. Uh, not those ones. Closer to the shape that we're after. That's one half of it, and that's the other half. It's closer there, but you want the round body in the middle. Getting closer. We want to see it from the top. Uh, 
let's see. <clears throat> Main source. I have used some previous videos as well. Maybe it was in a video. Some of these RC models are really, really, really big. Uh, so go back up a bit to images. Uh, it's easier to look through them. Okay. I need the space in between. That's why it's gone wrong. It's funny how you can never find what you're after uh, when you research. It's very similar. Probably could overlay, you see, uh, if we find it. Just to show you how similar it is. <laughs> Uh, which kind of makes you wonder whether that's on the original NASA image, but they don't give you the the coordinates uh, or the the photograph n number they found it on <coughs> all the time because uh, if, if that's been photoshopped, right? Still can't find the ones that I'm looking for. Uh, your foot quite easily find it. It's very really similar to that one. It's got the roundness happening on the front at least. But we're looking at four. So look, the wings come in, goes out. Uh, I know I've got it's a thumbnail somewhere uh, on the home page. Let's have a look. So under the Tyler Tyler before images, pretty sure. Of course, it doesn't scroll across everyone because it's a bug. You damn useless system. Uh, open up there it is that one oh I don't want to click on it I wanted the fun now. Uh, this one here, you can see has the rounded ends on it and the front of it. Well, we can't quite see the front, but it's got. Uh, it's very really similar. It's got the rounded bit here, rounded bit there. And. Uh, let's have a look. That sort of goes in, around, in and around. In and around, in and around. Well, actually, hang on, we're looking at the wrong direction. 
this around a bit here, and those around a bit here, and that sort of scoops in, but it's and, not quite uh, the same. Crop again. Out. I was looking in the wrong direction, wasn't I, before? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was looking for something like that. It's not exactly the same match. Oh, look how big that is. Yeah, there's a whole collection of those top ones. Yeah, I can't find them anymore. Like this here, you know, but more triangle. Uh, maybe if I type in triangle. Anyway, um, pretty much done for tonight, I think. There's various triangle designs. Uh, here's one, very similar to that Nazi one. Ah, uh -huh. so that's the one we want. Here it is. We want that one, but we want a top view of it. Uh, here's a similar top view, is it? Looks like it's been stretched to me though. Uh, it looks like a model. Looks like a rendering, doesn't it? Not a real thing. See, so it looks different on that angle there. Hitler's secret weapon. So that's what it looks like in that picture. This thing here. Someone's taken an image of this Nazi UFO and stuck it on the moon. Uh, let me see if we can grab that and compare it. So here's this blue dip, blurred out one. Uh, could it be just uh, a strange artifact? Yes, it could be. From the shading, maybe it's really on the moon, but it looks very really similar to that Nazi flying wing, right? Um, <coughs> I think I've got a fleet coming on. No, I still cut it too much. No, lost the nose. There we go. That's one image. It's amazing how much time you can waste looking over this stuff. Uh, this one was a wee bit messy tonight because I wasn't really uh, well prepared for it because I wasn't going to do this stuff, right? <laughs> I was going to do the Mexican stuff, but uh, yeah, this don't feel terribly well at the moment. Uh, something's going down. It's winter time here now, though. Yeah, uh, so. Um, so it goes from hot day to cold nights. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at here. This triangle craft, a wee bit better than what he's got. So it's going there to there. Looks like it goes curves around at the end. Goes to there. Goes around a bit. 
Uh, what's that some sort of cockpit area, right? Yeah. Just in case you didn't see that there. That's just a rough outline. Uh, it's got curvy bits, curvy wing tips, as you can see. That's what he's trying to point out. Uh, he got a drawn around it, but he's lazy. Uh, it would have taken him long to knock it up in this package and sort of add it to the video. So we want to grab the other one, which is that Nazi one. And we might be able to use it, but it's on off angle. Uh, we'll try it. Might be able to stretch it out a bit. So closest to the top view we're going to get. Where it doesn't look like it's too long to wing like the other ones were. Uh, perhaps we can find out the name of it and search uh, the name of it. Well, this again is the artist rendering. Okay, so there's some nose going down that way. I think it's too curvy to in here. It's on a tilt as well. That will do, and uh, it needs to go twisted that way. Yeah, it's not the best of images. I think you can see what I'm talking about, though. Layers rotate. Let's go up that way. Oop, made it disappear. No. Then, up there, maybe. No, that needs to go that direction. No, <laughs> need a better image. So, what's it called? HO229, so let's search on that. HO229. That kind of looks like a real picture, that one there. But it's hard to know. Now here we go, got some models, uh, 
Looks like a variation or very similar to this one. Or not. So that's why I think it may be a Photoshop. What's that one there? Looks slightly different again. Uh, that one looks different again too. It's got more things in a wing. Horton two two nine. So there's various variations of it. Horton. Wow. Wings. See what other variations there are. Gives you the idea, though, doesn't it? Uh, where the triangles may come from. And um, that's the technology. See this here? That, that looks more closer to what's on the moon. What's that one? Radical Nazi flying jet. Well, we know they use uh, air jets, so that could be what's really on the moon. So it's got to be a Photoshop. Okay, we've got lots of designs here. Uh, why is it not getting the bigger? See, that looks very really much like what um, Arnold saw, wasn't it? He saw ones that looked like um, these kind of strange shape, U shape wedges. There's the H229, and then he saw one that looked like a V-shape, which is really similar to these ones up here, right? Or that one there. Crescent. And then you had the Roswell Crash one. That's also similar to these. Still, not similar to what's on the main there, I reckon. Yeah, 
not H229 exactly, but similar. Well, here's an overlook head over one. Let's uh, grab that and wrap up for tonight, I guess. Uh, this one was more going over stuff quickly and looking for other ideas that we can maybe come back to. Could be something like that crashed into Roswell, right? You know, the Americans were experimenting with. Who knows? Um, don't know if I got it all then. Uh, Evans. Let's try the game. I think this is too curved here to be the same one on the moon, but uh, it doesn't mean there's not a variation out there. Where it's less curved at the end here. So there's something that Tyler could have done. He could have just said, oh, look, look how similar it looks to, like, the UFOs that Nazis were researching. <laughs> you know, uh, he's got the mind like I have. So you can see here straight away, rotate it. Uh, that's what better image now to work with, right? And you can see it's way too curved now, the wings. Uh, but what if you filled those in here? So let's do that. So let's uh, just get rid of that. Let's make a variation on it into more of a triangle shape. And cross there and there. Gradually filling it in. <laughs> okay. Then we can erase the outside. Keep the cur corners curved there. Razor. Why is that not working? Too big. Uh, razor, a razor. Why is it not doing the razor? Doesn't make any sense. Still saying brush. Huh? Doesn't make any sense. I got the right one. A razor. It's 
to be a razor. <laughs> um, what servants cheat? Harshness. Um, I'm confused. That should be a reason, as far as I'm concerned. All right. It is. It's just uh, blackness underneath where the moon is. <laughs> ah, they had me forward there for a minute. There you go. Now it makes sense. Uh, let's see, it's very really hard to keep a steady hand when you want to go. Yeah, right on the edge. Uh, that's close enough, I suppose. Sloppy, sloppy. Sloppy Photoshop work. <laughs> but you can see what I mean now. <laughs> um, I thought it was... Uh, black instead of raisin but it's actually the picture underneath that we're seeing actually I want to keep some of that detail at the end here uh, that was up there a little bit was sticking out Uh, making a real hash job of it. <laughs> oh, what's happened now? Yeah, so that was meant to be down our middle line there. That's almost the right size, I think. So for the wings look like, instead of being straight across, I should have come down a bit. Yeah, I sort of stuffed it up still. So it needs to... Be more curved up to the end, but something like that, right? And then it'll fit more precisely, you see. And the curve coming down. It needs to be longer. Uh, let's see. We lost the details off the German thing though. So you see, it would fit, you know. Someone's taken a model off the Nazi jet, uh, modified it a wee bit in CAD software. Just overlaid it on the moon, right? Something like that. Anyway, I think you get the idea. <laughs> uh, it's pretty bad Edson though. Yeah, let's go back. Let's just try something different. See, there's the curvy thing. 
But it needs to come more that way. Uh, we'll just overlay it as it is. So it's about there. And we might get rid of the outside. Let's see how well that goes. Hey, it didn't do too bad. It's keeping the the tags, the numbers on. So that's unmodified. Lose the handle, make it bigger up there. So it had to be a lot bigger. There could be more to the tail that we're not seeing, but uh, yeah, see it curves in too much. So if we just fill that bit in, that bit in there, it'll be perfect. And looks like that wingtip there got to wee bit changed for some reason. So that's where it should be nice and round. Must have deleted it accidentally up here, did I? Yeah, always making mistakes. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so to be a match, I would have to. Too much. Can't see uh, flitters in my eyes. I'm going to see the eye doctor tomorrow too. So uh, yeah, that's going to stuff up me doing the live show tomorrow. Forgot about that. Oh, I'll see if the eyes come right for the afternoon. 3 p.m. 2:30. Might be home by then. Uh, we'll see how we go. Else I'll just do another evening one, maybe. Um, ah, we'll leave it for the next day. Uh, I want to get it out of the way with, though. Uh, anyway, we'll see what we can do. So if you fill the nice bits of the wing, I think it'd be a very good match. Apart from the end bit on here, it's sort of rounded off. OK, 
Can we fill it in quick? There's our flying wing on the moon. So for it's on a slight tilt on the moon. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, because it needs to be tilted this way slightly. There you go. Tilting it up. Nice looking better. I'm uh, getting good at this thing. <laughs> Even with bad eyes, right? <laughs> so yeah, the jet and Nazi flying wing. On the wing. Uh, maybe I should... Um, Do a half half and save it. And it's a bit hard to show you can't change the color. Maybe I can. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're wasting too much time on it, Paul. Yeah, it's just no come on. Try that. So it blends a bit better. Yeah, anyway. Save it. wrap up for tonight anyway Nazi wing on moon there you go proof that the Nazis got up there or oh, proof that someone photoshopped it over <laughs> oh this optical illusion of course uh, just rocks there it doesn't look like a good place to park it you know, that's uh, the this problem that I have. It to be a genuine thing. See, it doesn't look like it could be a pile of rocks, but um, if 
but when you zoom in a bit more and look at it carefully, you can see it almost looks like uh, it could be just shadow play with the light. You know, it's not actually symmetrical. Probably should have cut that in half. You see, that's on a more of a slope than that wing is. Yeah, it's hard to know. I reckon it's a Photoshop. <laughs> Uh, rather than optical lesion, unless we can get the original image from NASA's database and zoom in on it. Anyway, enough on that. Uh, yeah. So we'll try to do Mexican UFOs tomorrow. If not, uh, maybe I'll push it to Saturday. Anyway. Uh, was there anything else here? It's still a bit of a... And yet again. Blurry sh tri triangle shapes. Oh yeah, you can buy his merchandise now. Sell, sell, sell. Now these things here, uh, they did use them. They were actually blimps for targeting. And uh, they'd blow it up in submarines or whatever. And just run it from a line behind and uh, use it for target practice. Uh, also, also, they would use them for reconnaissance. Like, if you've got a kite balloon, you can go up quite high and see for miles away, right? And then you could just use it for target practice after if you wanted to, just to calibrate the guns. And that's CGI. CGI. And then we got Corbell's one. Uh, did he not put the space toll on there? I think I did see the space toll there somewhere. Oh, here it is. See that there? Keeps reusing that. That's just a NASA shuttle space toll, right? Uh, they were photographing it to see what pace it was, whereabouts, where it come from. Earth's atmosphere and they managed to snap a couple of images of this thing and with the recent releasing of so that's just fake news straight there uh was there anything else in fake uh third phase that we need to look at just before a wrap up i didn't quite go over all these because uh, it was pretty Bad, wasn't it? So, so we got uh, Wilcox, who's a crazy man. Predicts things that don't come true <laughs> and all that sort of craziness. And yet people believe him it's out there. Crazy people. What was found on Mars was the internet on pause. NASA just captured near the sun. Okay, that's just the Soho images again. Okay, we'll just quickly scan through these. Uh, what, is, what have we got? Uh, rocks. Is that what we're really looking at? Rocks, is it? You know. Uh, rocks. Uh, so it's nothing new. It's the old stuff they've had up before. And the four. Doctor J, you hoaxer. Ah, uh, next one. New logo already, yeah. Huh? Yep, Soho images. And what was captured? It's just the optical illusion where the flames are wrapped around. Uh, I thought it's going to be the cotton. Um, they know there's a bit of cotton that creates uh, the round, sort of like a round hemisphere shape. Gets in the way of the lens. So they try to show that's an extra shape of a planet behind the sun, are they? 
instead of it being like flames sort of curved up either side perfectly. Okay, what we're looking at quite a gang, is it? Uh, different different videos. Yeah, uh, possibly a kite. Again, a lot of UFO videos coming in, so let's just roll them in California. See, Me Valley. Keaton Lewis captures this on the freeway. What are we looking at? Uh, looks like a smoke cloud to me. Hey, just a dark cloud of some sort. Could be a plane control even. Okay, what else we got? It is. No, it's not. It is in the sky. According to Roswell, it'd be a weather balloon. For a little bit here. Uh, so stupid, isn't it? Area. Okay, that's a uh, one of those lead kites where they've just got the tail lit up and you can't see the rest of it. There you go, look. It's just a cow, uh, kite, kite tail. That's all, kite tail. That's not like there's a... Come on. How many times must they show that old footage? Oh, this is so stupid. It is... It's a lead kite tail. Hey. So it's just more garbage up. We keep recycling the same old crap. Boring. Third phase of a fell. Alright, so let's um, wrap it up from there. And i got to get to um, early to bed tonight for the appointment tomorrow. I've got to spend a few hours uploading this yet. 10 o'clock. Alright, so just gonna wrap up then. Whoop, and say goodnight. And let's see how the end credits go this time. And I was gonna use my labels, and I didn't even use them. Damn. Good night, all. Did it come up? Should have come up by now. There we go. That was too quick off the Mac. Yeah, hopefully it'll be better mind state tomorrow. Uh, we could probably condense that whole three hours down to 30 minutes, probably. But the idea is to do life debunks and people join me and throw their ideas out there while we're doing it. Make it makes it a bit more fun, but because uh, people don't want to come to Twitch to watch UFO stuff. They probably would if they knew about me, I guess. Uh, Twitch could do something instead sort of just promoting gamers, I guess. Anyway, I think it's working alright though, isn't it? Check to see if any changes affected it tonight. But I think it's gone alright. Uh, the thing was glitching a wee bit, the editor in places, but we always get that anyway.